Is God a Republican or a Democrat? What is the import of this question? In recent years, this question has been posed for political purposes in seeking to sway the electorate to vote for one of two parties who make claims that they are doing the right thing and are approved by God in their legislative agendas that they are promoting. Yes, as hard as it may be to believe, the Democrats, especially with our current president, make such claims. With both parties making such claims at various times, politicians seek photo ops at churches, with ministers, and various religious organizations. Clearly, religion is not dead when it comes to political matters in America. Not at all. Religion is alive and well in America. And it is alive and well in our politics. Now, there are several questions that ought to be considered before we make our final response to this question. First, what God are we talking about? While it is true that the God of the Bible goes by different names, Elohim, Adonai, El Shaddai, Jehovah, Theos, Kyrios, or Pater. This God differs from the various gods of other cults and religions. Such cults as Jehovah Witnesses, Mormons, or Unification Church, just to name a few. Or he differs also from the gods of various world religions, Hinduism, Buddhism, and Islam. And not to be left out, humanism, which I would classify all other religions besides Christianity within or under that umbrella, where man is God and has made his own religions for his own salvation. Just to name a few of these religions, though. While some religious people will say that the God of Christianity, Buddhism, Islam, for example, is really the same God. He's only known by different names. This is not a view that is held, though, by these other religions. Each believe that their God is the true God. Certainly this problem concerning which God that we are speaking about when we pose the question, is God a Republican or a Democrat? For biblical Christianity causes us simply to scratch our heads in confusion. Because when God's name is invoked, we are never told what God is being invoked. I would certainly suggest that from now on, when we confront our political leaders using and invoking the name of God and in such general terms that we should ask them, which God are you speaking about when you invoke his name? Are you talking about the God of Christianity? Are you talking about the God of Buddhism? of the Hindus, the God of Islam, which God? And if you claim Christianity, which God are you speaking about? The God of Scripture, of historic Orthodox Christianity, or one of the other cultic teachings that claim the name of Christianity? Every politician ought to answer that question. Now we will take up this matter further 
in our next session.